This is your one and only FireSpark81 with your daily dose of video goodness and welcome back to Grounded Hard Mode. So when we last left off, we were working our way up to the tier two hammer. Uh, the reason I want this and I'm rushing this is because I want to be able to make the mint mallet because it's the best weapon currently in the game and I want it as soon as possible to make the rest of my life much easier. So today we need to kill bombardier beetles. I'm probably going to die a lot. I anticipate dying a lot, but that's just part of the game and it's uh, it's what we need to do. So that's, that's what's going to happen here. So I'm going to grab a little bit of the stuff that I need here to slap down a lean-to for where we are going because... Uh, we're probably going to die, and I just want to spawn close by. So, we want to head over this direction. Because I know where there's some beetles at. They're relatively easy to kill there, and easy to access. So, those are the ones we're going for. Uh, we want to find the rake, and then we're just going to run right up the rake. We're going to collect all this sap on our way there, because we'll always be collecting sap. And I saw the rake there in the distance. I don't want to run down that hole. I want to actually just run up this way and uh, miss the hole. We got to be careful because there's some dangerous stuff that wanders around here. And I want to go. Yeah, here we go. I want to head towards the bottom of the rake and then I'm going to run up it. And I think I might actually slap the lean to down on the rake itself. If it'll let me. I don't know if it'll let me or not. Let's see. Uh, it looks like it may not allow me to do that. We're gonna just do this. You spin it, because sometimes when you spin it like certain directions, it'll let you do the thing. So we're just gonna run up the way here and just spin this as we go to see where it'll let me place it. If it'll let me place it. Oh, I see something big moving down there. Yeah, that's a big old wolf spider down there. So that's like one of the reasons we want to be careful around here. Worst comes to worst, I think we can place it on the rock here. And we can place it right behind there. Should be safe. I don't think the beetles can hit us there. So we're just going to very, 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 very carefully, because I don't have a glider, because I'm a slacker, run up this. And then, oh, wait, wait, wait. It was it. It was going to let me place it, like, right here. I, that's questionable, though. Whoa, yep. Very careful. Okay, all right. We're doing all right. There's a beetle. We do not want to aggravate the beetle just yet. So we want to be careful. All right, we're going to run right up here. Can I seriously not place it on this rock? Really? There is no safe places around here. I mean, I guess I could have placed it at the end of the handle over there. I thought it would let me place it around here. The problem is if I place it there where it was going to let me, if I like force it, it's going to knock me off when I spawn. So I guess our best bet would be down here somewhere in mite territory. There's a bunch of little spiders and mites down here. But we should be safe-ish. Tossing it like right around here, I think. Why is it not letting me place it anywhere? Like, this should all be fine. Okay, I know this should, should be completely acceptable over here. Let's go over here on this leaf. Yeah, perfect. Okay, that should be... We should be safe to spawn up here. I don't think anything will run up here. Uh, we're going to do it. Let it go there. Now, the trick to the beetles is you need to get the drop on them. If they get the drop on you, if you aggro them first, or if they aggro to you before you get a hit on them, they will spin wherever you run. So the key is to get the drop on them and hit them first. And we just had a we just had a spider. I'm gonna run. This is bad. This is bad. I don't want to get in on this. Okay, where did that spider go? We had a spider. Okay, he's up there. I don't want the spider and the beetle at the same time. Crap, I forgot to drink before we came up here. Let's uh a little bit of that, a little bit of that. Is there any water around here? Where's water when you need it? Well, do I have anything on me? Water wise? No. Okay, this, this, this little guy right here, this is what, we, get rid of him. Okay, fantastic. Get rid of this mite as well. Okay. Now we need to, we need to fix our water situation. There should be some, some dew or something around here. Even if it's like, craptastic water, I will drink it. We'll get a little slurpy slurp action going on. And, uh, I'll just eat 
to recover. Actually, I think if we come over this way, we got to be careful because there's a wolf spider around here. But there's also food and possibly a juice box. All right, so we have apple over here. If we can find some aphid poop, that'll work as well. Oh, there's a dewdrop. There's a dewdrop. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, so we'll just hit this dewdrop here. And then we'll head back over there. Okay, that'll do the job. Okay, as I was saying, we have to get the drop on the beetle. We can't let the beetle aggro to us first. And that can be kind of tricky. And there's two of them that spawn up here. So what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to run behind the rake and see if they're both up here. Or attempt to see if they're both up here. There's also some science up here. And there's a scab up here as well. I'm only seeing one, but that doesn't mean there's not another one over there somewhere. All right, we're going to wait, see if he turns around. No, nope, we want to fight him on a flat surface too. Actually, this might not be bad. I'm going to try. Okay, we're out of stamina, so we just need to hang out here. Okay, we got him stunned. Almost, we're almost there. Let our stamina regen. He's stunned again. All right, one beetle down. Uh, how many boiling glands do we need? Let's go, let's go back over here to where we're somewhat safe. And let's take a look at the recipe real quick because I don't remember how many we needed. I just know we need, oh, we only need one. So now we need, I think we had four feelers. The stink bugs aren't too bad. We can go kill another one if need be. That was the rough one. Uh, now we need to head over and get some berry leather. That's relatively easy, but I want to get the science up here and I want to get, there's a scab up here too, if I remember correctly. So the science is right here. Yeah, get that. And then there's the scab, the flying V. Okay, so now we need to head over to the berry bushes over there and that should be uh, a relatively easy. We're going to run into some spiders over there, but we can one, ignore them or kill them. They, they're the orb weavers. They're relatively easy to kill. So we're just going to head a straight shot over here. There is another wolf spider that spawns around here somewhere and just kind of wanders around. So I want to be on guard heading over here. But yeah, that actually wasn't that bad of a fight. Like I said, the key is you can't let them aggro to you first. You need to get up on them and start hitting them. If I was to, for example, throw a rock at them and aggro it to me, for some reason, if they start if the first thing they do is try to spit at you before you hit them or or anything else they will spin in place and you can't you you almost can't dodge their their butt acid uh, yeah that's what we're gonna call it their butt acid so the key is to like run up on them as quick as you can and start hitting them like we did there and then that will cause them to lock into place when they go to target instead of spinning in place. I hope that makes sense. Um, I found out that, that that mechanic was worked that way when I was learning how to kill them and to make the video for it. So it works pretty well because for a while I was just throwing the rocks at them and trying to get them to come at me when there'd be two together. But then that's how I found out that if you do that and they aggro to you before you're like right up on them, they will spin around and you can't you can't dodge the, the butt acid. OK, so there's a couple spiders in here, but for the most part, we should be fine over here. Shouldn't have too much issue. And there's actually well, there's some berries there that we can hit. Shouldn't have any spiders. I'm going to kill this weevil. Maybe. Maybe not. Maybe I'm just not going to kill this weevil. Hey, hey, die. Okay, perfect. All right, so for this, what we're going to do, we're just going to grab our stones. I brought a bunch of stones with me. We can pick a bunch up over here. There's one of the orb weavers. I, I, I'm confident I could take it out. I just don't know if I really feel like fighting it. And while we're over here, actually, what I'm going to do, I'm going to come out here to where it's relatively safe and put a lean to just in case I do die over here. 
because it is it's always a possibility and we're playing hard mode so things are going to hit hard so let's just throw a lean to over here oh i need well look there's clover right here how about that okay we'll just slap down a, a lean to real quick set our spawn point perfect okay so we're good to go there you know what i think i built that other lean to and didn't actually set my spawn point that's funny but we didn't die we were able to kill the the beetle relatively easily all right so we just want to get a couple of berries over here how many do i need uh what was it three berry leather we're oh four i need to knock down four. Oh crap what was that what was that oh a stupid mite really mite really get out of here um you know what this spider's making me nervous i'm just gonna kill it we're just gonna we're gonna make a couple of freaking mites get out i'm trying to do stuff we're going to craft a couple of bandages and we're just going to go over there and kill that spider. I'm going to feel safer with it dead. Just because it's making me nervous. We also need to start making some green machine smoothies um, and have those on hand for quick healing. I didn't bring any of those with me. Um, we're going to see how this goes here. Going to be, it's going to be sketchtastic. I, I don't, I haven't fought one of these guys in hard mode yet. Oh, and there's two over there. Great. Hey, hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nope. All right, come on. Come on over here. Okay, we got a stun on him. Okay, not bad, not bad. A few more hits and he's done. Come on, one more swing. Oh, crap. Okay. All right. Whew. Woo. Okay. Hearts are beating. We got one more to kill over here. There's also some juice that spawns over here that we can fill up all of our stuff, um, our food and our water. Where did he go? I saw him. I saw it come down. Oh, there's a berry right there. Sweet. Let's get that berry real quick. All right. So that's one berry leather. Our... Um, our hammer's almost, our club's almost done for, which sucks. All right, where did that other warb weaver go? Oh, I lost it, and I don't, I don't like that I, I don't see it. Let's go get a top-down view then, I guess, and uh, we'll knock down some berries, and then we'll run down there and get them. So we should be able to go up here and reach a bunch of berries from here. We only need a couple more. I might, oh, I'm going to need some extra for the, so we don't have to run back over here for the mint mallet as well. Yeah, there's the, the juice just fell. So we'll get that as well. All right, so we're just gonna, what What was that? What was that throw? Here we go, one. And then there's a bunch of them up there. So we'll just run up there to those. We'll run down here and run around. We gotta be careful, because once again, I don't wanna fall from here because I did not bring a glider with me because I'm extremely unprepared. All right, so we're gonna hit that. Oh, there's one up there too. I don't know if we can hit that one or not. We'll go over here. We'll grab this science here. And then we should be able to hit this one. You see? All right. Bam. And then there's a couple over there that I think we should be able to reach as well. I really got to get a glider. We just took one heck of a fall. If that orb weaver gets the jump on us, we're totally dead. We got to be super careful. But we did get a bunch of berries down here. So I'm going to quickly gather them up. And then we're going to head back to the base. Ooh, all right. We made it back to base. That was a little touch and go there for a second. I ran into a clump of spiders. That was, uh, that was good times. So I managed to dodge them and we managed to make it back safe and sound. We eventually need to start building our house up there. So I may do that off camera. I'm just going to build a platform up there uh, because it's, I like it. It's a, we're in a nice centralized location. Everything's relatively quick and easy to get to. And I just like this area plus all of our stuff's right here. And I don't want to move very far. So I'm just going to build a platform up there. Uh, this isn't bad for most things. Problem is if a spider shows up here, it will, uh, it'll be able to attack us. And I want to be up higher someplace safer. So we're going to reset our spawn point here. And we should have everything that we need. We need to make a little bit of uh, berry leather here. So let's craft four of those. 
And then my feeler. Oh, you know what? We're one feeler short. Crap. We're going to have to go kill a stink bug. All right. We're back over here in stink bug town. We're just going to do the same thing that we did. Whoa, whoa, what happened there? That's not why did you, what was that? That was weird. Um, anyway, we're back over here in stink bug town. We're just going to do the same thing that we did before. We're going to run up here. We're going to throw a rock at one of their faces, kite it out of the way. Is there stink bugs over here? Did they not respawn? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, here we go. I was going to say, did they not respawn yet? Uh, this guy looks like a good option. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. We're so dead. We're so dead. Yep. Where did he come from? He just came out of nowhere. Nowhere. Well, there's our first death. Holy crap. This literally out of nowhere just comes up behind me. Like I'm minding my own business. There was no spider there. When we first ran over there that was ridiculous well um yeah that was, i guess that's that's what happens you just get surprised out of nowhere and then you die from a freaking spider just sneaking up on you when you're trying to kill a freaking stink bug all right we're back over here in stink bugville we're gonna try this again uh are they already fighting something or is he just stinking because he likes sleeping in it let's see if we can hit him nope try this again there we go we got him okay so we're going to try to kite him over to here. Come on, buddy. Are you stuck? Don't be stuck. Come on. Step over it. Oh, he's going to stink. We need to kite him. Okay, come on. I want to kite him to... Okay, we got him blocked. He's stunned. We got to really watch our stamina here. Okay, we got a block in. Ooh, he tried to attack like twice in quick succession there. Oh, we almost got him. Okay, he's gonna stink, so we're just going to kite backwards a little bit. Okay, block. And there we go. Okay, that wasn't bad. That wasn't bad at all. Okay, we have everything we need, or we should have everything we need. By the way, I killed a ton of weevils. They keep coming over here and piling up, and I'm not sure why. But we should have everything we need. We have feelers. We have the explosive gland. Uh, we're going to eat a bunch of this because I have so much of it. I don't know what to do with it, and I don't have the jerky rack yet, although I could probably learn it. Anyway, let's make our hammer. All right. Great, we got our hammer. Now let's go over here. We want to take this hammer. We don't need this hammer anymore. Let's just trash it. Trash one. I said trash one. Fantastic. Grab this. Okay, so now we can uh, equip this. Let's drag this down here. And now we can get our freaking mint mallet. So we're just going to go over here and crack open the mints. Might have to knock some of this stuff out of the way. I don't know. We might be all right. Let's uh, crack that open. Are you going to open? There we go. And we'll go one. Nope. Hit it. Nope. Hit it. We only want to harvest three and then sleep and we should get infinite mints, but I can't seem to hit the mints. Can, can you? We're hitting it. Why am I not hitting it? Okay, we're like all up in it th now. Well, I killed an aphid apparently. And for some reason, I cannot harvest the mints. Well, that's trash. I didn't have any problems in any of my other games. Hmm. Oh, there we go. There we go. We found a sweet spot. Okay, how many do we need for the mallet? I might just knock down this first one. We need five. So I can knock down this first one and then harvest the others. And just not harvest them all the way. If we can manage to, to get in here. Can we get in here? Okay, can we actually harvest them? Okay, that gives us five. I'm not going to harvest the rest. That's enough to get us the mallet. And then we can craft it up. We should have, I think we have everything else we need. Oh, I'm going to have to kill some more spiders and 
get some flower petals. I forgot that I needed that. Okay, well, unfortunately, I am out of time today and we're past our wrap up time anyway. So that is going to wrap it up for this episode. If you like what you saw, consider hitting that sub button. I want to give a big thank you to my patrons for making this episode possible. Y'all are absolutely amazing people. If you'd like to join my Elite Crew Patreon supporters, please check out the link in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought. If you're shy, you don't like to comment, just hit that thumbs up button and share your support. Until next time, thanks for watching.